Welcome back. This tugboat dates back to the 1940s, to a time when the Ottawa River here was one of the mightiest logging rivers in the world. There's certainly not much to see of those days anymore, unless you look underwater. It's exciting. Every day you don't know what you're going to find. It's basically like treasure hunting. This is Gord's buried treasure, tens of thousands of saturated logs resting in the silt of the Ottawa River. Most of them have been lying here preserved in the deep, cold water for more than a hundred years. Gord's company, Logs End, is determined to bring them back to the surface. How many logs have you taken out so far? 30,000. Wow. Of course, Gord doesn't pull up 30,000 logs by himself. His salvaging company involves a crew of 22. It's long days and hard work, but the results are worth it. It's exciting for everyone, from the divers to the, the students on the boat, the full-time workers in the mill. It's just, hey, guess what we got? Patty, look at this. Red oak. Just last week we found six oak that were registered 1873. Super. And you recapture a log like that. Now that was cut in the bush over 125 years ago. You can think back, you know, is that lumberman looking down on me saying, thank God you recovered my log? Yes. The logs that sank to the bottom of the river are just a tiny fraction of the 14 billion logs that were floated down the Ottawa River since the 1830s. This river is one of the oldest logging rivers in the world, and uh, this was a highway for lumber. They were going down in, in booms of 10,000 in a boom uh, at that time. What did this actually uh, pull? In its day when the logs were floating, this would pull a couple thousand logs. Wow. A lot of logs. Gord's been fascinated with logging since he was a kid. Born and raised near Bristol Mines, Quebec, the Ottawa River was right in his backyard. Do you remember the logs floating down the river as a kid? Oh, yes, certainly. I can remember coming down to swim in the river and there'd be log booms where you could almost walk from shore to shore with booms of logs, thousands and thousands of logs. How would you like to drive it, Wayne? You bet I'd love to. Well, thank you, Skipper. Take it over, Captain. Although Gord grew up in Quebec, he spent most of his adult life a few miles downstream on the Ontario side near Ottawa, where he and his family own a successful electrical contracting business. But he never forgot his roots and the people he left behind. I left this community very young at age 16. I had gone away, did my thing. Now I started coming back to spend my summers here in my community and had a local cottage and, and saw a lot of people around here, a lot of friends, and I thought, I'd like to be able to put something back into my community. That was 1997. Since then, business has been good enough for Gord to build a state-of-the-art sawmill on site. The quality of these old retrieved logs is so good, most of this lumber will be used for flooring or cabinet making. It's wood quite unlike what you'd find in our forests today. They're termed old growth because they came from a century ago, so the rings were very tight in the log and uh, the knots were very small. When you say old growth, they, they were cut 100, 125 years ago, but how old were they at the time they, they were cut? Oh, some of the logs we were uh, looking at, uh, similar to one oak we were looking at this morning, uh, it's probably 350 years old. Let's go find some logs. I think that's a good idea. That's what we're out here for. 